Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana Sid and Apron. Today we're going to make some chicken soup. A crock pot chicken soup. Come on. Okay, this is a very easy chicken soup to make. It's... <laughs> it can almost be called an instant soup, I think. I've got chicken. I have some salt, thyme, rosemary, some parsley, some bay leaf. Uh, I have in here some frozen, I always like to freeze my leftover veggies so they don't run. So I've got frozen uh, celery and onions. I have some a, car, a clove of garlic. I'm going to use some cream of chicken soup. Uh, I have some frozen carrots and I have some leftover uh, noodles. So, uh, oh, and and I use this for my chicken bouillon for the stock when I don't have any um, chicken stock on hand. It has a little more sodium than I would like, but uh, it works. I've got two cups of water here, warm water actually, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of this chicken bouillon in. And I'm going to go ahead and put in, uh, put all of my seasonings in this cup. I'm going to add a smidgen. Yes, it actually says a smidgen on it. A smidgen of salt. Now you... You can salt this to taste however you like. And with our parsley flakes, we're going to use, we're going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon, a heaping eighth of a teaspoon. That way it gives us just a little bit of time to, uh, the, the water to absorb all of the flavors. So that's why I'm putting it in the water. Got a smidge of, of rosemary. Garden fresh. <laughs> okay, not garden fresh, but from the garden, dehydrated. And then I put it in a little grinder and ground it up. Same thing for my thyme. And uh, we're going to put a heaping smidge of that. So I guess it would be a pinch. And I'm just going to stir these together. Just like that. And then I want to go ahead and get the bay leaf. One or two. Depends on how much you like the uh, flavor that the bay leaf adds. Of course, I do like it. So. And these are, it's one leaf and it's all rolled up. So I'm just going to go ahead and nestle that right down in there. Uh, next thing is my chicken. Let me move this out of the way. I want to go ahead and get my chicken out. And this is frozen chicken. It's the uh, free range chicken. Oh, uh, yeah. And I usually, if I do this, if I use my uh, slow cooker for something, and I'm putting meats in it, 95% uh, of the time, I use frozen meats. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I don't know some people have the thought that you shouldn't put frozen meats in your slow cooker, but believe me, they cook just as good and just as quick as your thawed meats do. But we're going to put our chicken breast down in the bottom of the slow cooker. Oh, I don't have any of the bags today. Didn't make it to the store over the weekend. So I went ahead and sprayed my crock with nonstick spray. I'm 
you, you don't have to use that kind of chicken. You just use whatever you've got on hand. And if you like to use, if you like the thighs better, then you know, use your thighs. Wash your hands really good after you get done doing that. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and pour this broth that I've got together here. See how it worked in. Everything kind of melted in together. But that's two cups of water, actually, that I'm pouring in there with all of those uh, dried herbs and with the chicken bouillon. So next up is my frozen celery and onions, which equaled out to about two cups. Um, let's see. And we're going to squeeze out our garlic. I'm just using one clove of garlic. Okay, I'm not going to put the carrots in yet. I'm going to wait until the chicken is done before I put that in there. And... Here's what it looks like so far. And I just want to give it a stir. And uh, we're going to let this cook on high for four hours. Then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my carrots in and the cream of chicken soup. I'm going to use that to like a thickener. Okay, if you want to use your slow cooker to make this soup with while you're uh, gone to work or you have some errands to do, anything like that, you can go ahead and put this in your slow cooker and put it on low. It will cook just fine while you're gone uh, as far as the foods go. That is if you trust your, your cooker to, to go off and leave it. I've done it for years. Slow cooker meal. Quick and easy. You want your chicken, you want some onions and celery chopped up. You can chop it up smaller, fine, you know, if you want to. Um, we're using frozen carrots. If you have your own, that's fine as well. Now, if you're going to put uh, fresh carrots in there, then I always love to peel the carrots. Uh, to me, the peeling of the carrot has an awkward flavor to it. So, uh, you know, if you don't, I mean, I don't mean to offend anybody, but if you, if you don't... Uh, peel your carrots, your fresh carrots, then that's okay too. I know that it's got those vitamins in there, the added vitamins. Um, but go ahead and, and slice up your carrots and put them in there and let them cook if you're using fresh carrots because uh, it'll take a while for those to get done. But uh, your seasonings, now I also, when I go back over to my pot, I'm going to add some fresh cracked pepper. I love pepper in having I've eat it for a long time, so now I get to. I don't overdo it because Tom is not the biggest fan of spicy or hot stuff. Now, if you want, you could put you some red pepper in there, just a little bit, you know, or to your liking even. But we're going to uh, finish cooking this, and then I get back with you. I did go ahead and put my carrots in. I put in my cell, uh, my uh, cream of chicken soup, and I just poured in these noodles. So uh, I'm gonna give these a stir. I, oh, I took out the chicken. So stirring this all around, and we're gonna let these noodles cook down, and I'll put the chicken back in. But uh, let's get the lid on that. I have mine. I don't know if yours has it or not, but just uh, keep warm setting on your uh, slow cooker, but if you do, then that's what I'm using right now. And uh, now we're gonna shred this chicken, and then we're gonna put it right back in. You can shred it however you like to. I don't honestly like the thought of using my mixer to shred my chicken. So I'll just do it like I typically do with a couple of forks. Or a fork and a spoon, because why dirty up a fork? Another fork. 
got this spoon, this spoon, 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 spoon I've been using to spur, I can't even talk, spoon that I have been using to stir the soup with. So I'm just gonna, I can shred it up really small, you know, but just a, a nice bite is what I'm shredding it up to. Just nice bites. <laughs> nice bite sizes. Okay. chicken back in. You see how much chicken you get out of two chicken breasts? You can cut this down to one if you don't want any leftovers. Just do half of this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir. Now I'm not going to add any more liquids to this right now because uh, I don't want it to be watery. Oh, this smells so good. All the herbs and stuff that we put in. Mm. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm just going to leave it on keep warm so that uh, we don't overcook our noodles and we don't want our uh, chicken to get too done and have the wrong texture. So, uh, I'll see you when I get ready to put this in some bowls. Look how chunky and delicious our soup is. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually just going to use a fork because it's that thick and chunky. Grab a carrot. Give it a blow. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Mm. All of those spices and the veggies and mm, all that chicken. Oh my goodness. It's very tasty. So you all take care. And if you're looking for a nice uh, warm your bones kind of meal, give this a try. I think you'll like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Click that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know every time that we put new content on. So you all take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.